Hi everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Thursday the 10th of October 2019. Thank you for joining me. As always, it's a pleasure to be here with you for the daily tarot reading. I'm using the Celestial Tarot for this reading. This is a really complicated deck. It kind of combines astrology and tarot because there are a lot of astrological symbols in the deck. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via the website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. It's a good time if it's around your birthday or if you're at a crossroads or if you're trying to decide what to do for work or what direction to go in. So I can answer any questions you have. This reading is for Thursday the 10th. So let's see what the cards have to say about that. We've got the 10 of wands. We have the sun and we have the hanged man. Big cards, big day. The Ten of Wands is usually being really, really bogged down with loads of things that you have to do. It's usually someone carrying these huge ones on their back. And in this deck, what we've got is a dragon or a salamander floating here. Salamander, kind of coming up and eating these ones. <laughs> it's almost like nourishment to the salamander. He's coming up out of the flames and he's going to eat these ones, these little sticks. That's what feeds him. But it's upright. So the ten of wands is a burden. So he can't quite... If he tries to get one, he'll, he'll lose the gravity thing and he'll fall and he'll crush the other one. So it's, I can't pick one, otherwise the whole thing comes crashing down and I can't get all of them in one go. So I have to stay stuck. And that's really what the Ten of Wands is about because Wands represents your life purpose and passion and desire and what it is you do. And we're happiest in life, in my experience, when we do work that we care about and that we have a home and a family and that we're relatively secure. I think most people's ambition is at that, you know, that, that they're happy and they have their family and they have enough to get by. Now, the solution to the Ten of Wands is to, in this case, accept that you're going to fall, but you choose one of the ones how do you choose good question right because they all look exactly the same you choose with the sun the sun is at the center of this reading the sun is your identity it's your personality think of this as a solar plexus down here is the sacral chakra down here is the root chakra up here is the heart chakra. The solar plexus, you can see this king on a fiery horse, point, triangle pointing upwards, earth meeting the sun, trying to get from spirits, give us the warmth, give us the strength. Kabbalistic tree of life, it is the source and center of everything and all things. Leo, Public, fun, energetic, strong, fiery, passionate. So because you're all of those things today, so really get ready to take that fire and that passion and to devote it to something that you care about. Leo is spontaneous and fun and excited. And when Leo puts its energy into something, it usually adds a positive vibe to any situation. So the passion that you feel today is going to enable you to drop nine ones so you immediately let go of the burdens 
So let's say you're trying to do lots of things. Okay. So let's try, let's say financially things aren't going well for you. So you've got all of these options. You're thinking of doing different things to kind of earn an extra income. Maybe do something online or retrain or uh, do this thing or really do the thing that you are passionate about and that you couldn't do when you were 20 because you couldn't go to university because you already had two kids by then. It just didn't work out. So that would be a major commitment. But the the sun god here, the sun king, the emperor of the sun, what should we call him? Apollo. Yeah, the sun god. He enables you and shows you who you really are. So you're like the moon today. It's the sun provides you with information that you reflect. And if you look into that reflection, you can really see who you are, what it is that fires you up, and then you can choose. Finally, we've got Neptune, which is water. So that doesn't work together at all. We've got all this fire and then water. It, take a bucket of water and throw it on these ones. <clears throat> Gone. Uh, it'd have to be a big bucket for the sun. But if you overheat water, it evaporates and disappears. The hangman is a man who sees things differently, who, who becomes enlightened through a series of ordeals that he has to go through. In this card, we've got the hangman up here. And he starts to see the truth, so to speak. So because he's hanged and becomes enlightened. So basically the hangman is a card that says, if you go through the struggles of life and you're a survivor and you continue and you're enthusiastic, then, and you devote yourself to spirituality in a way and listening to your intuition and meditating and being connected, you are then you then kind of turn things upside down. It's the same way as saying I'm pulling the veil aside. And then you start to see gods like Neptune. And Neptune is the water planet. Also the Kabbalistic tree of life. So it's through your feelings, your feelings as well as your passion. And you could argue, well, passion is a feeling. But there's something different about feeling a vocation, feeling a core to do something. It's not exactly a feeling. It's a, it's a, it's a calling. It's something that pulls you in. It's, it, it's really something that's external to you. Almost, if you, it, of course, it's internal to you because you're the one who's going to be doing it, but it feels like you're simply drawn to it and you don't have much choice. Like if you find suddenly the right thing that you're supposed to be doing, you come across it in, your, in life. And it's like, oh, wow. And then, you know, for the rest of your schooling, you're going to focus on becoming that thing that impressed you so much. So Neptune is bringing in all these waves. It's the triangle pointing down. So emotions coming in. We've got this triangle pointing up, asking for warmth and the sun and the energy and the power. So we've got perfect balance here. We've got the Kabbalistic tree of life is like the Ten of Pentacles. It's security and structure and living your best life and really hitting each point and making sure that each one of your gifts and talents is being used. And you can only recognize that by seeing things differently today. So today, your watery ability to pull back the veil and to really see what you're feeling and then to simply be drawn towards something specific that's going to prevent a disaster from happening, i.e. feeling overwhelmed or being yeah, so overwhelmed that you can't get anything done so that the whole day is a washout because the whole day can be a washout. If you let yourself be crushed, but all of the things that you have to do, it's like, I've got so much on my plate that I'm going to, I'm just going to end up doing nothing because I, it's overwhelming. I can't handle it. So that's not going to happen if you allow yourself to connect with your passions and desires and you try and keep it simple and you focus on one particular thing. 
you're, like I said, it'll be like you're a tugboat when you find the right thing. And it's going to be like you're being pulled in. And also, your feelings are going to say, ding, 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 this is the right one. So again, this is a wonderful day to find what it is you love and to devote yourself to a life purpose that's going to serve you in future, especially people who are creative and who who like the limelight or people who want to be seen as experts uh, in any field, you know, like the doctor. The nurse will go to the doctor and say, doctor, can you do it? And then the expert comes in and signs something. So oh, if you want to be in one of those areas and one of those fields, also the salamander here, the fire lizard, anything to do with research, where you then end up winning the Nobel Prize for Science because, and that puts you in the spotlight. This is really a great day to identify, to take on this, what the universe is asking you to do. You identify what you're supposed to do. You get the power to do it. And you're able to specifically focus on one thing. And you're the Olympic torch carrier, okay? So you're tar carrying the torch from today. You're running with it. You're going to pass it on. And while you're running with the Olympic torch, the torch talks to you and it says, Hey, Anne, you're supposed to be a, an osteopath or a podiatrist. <laughs> or it's your life purpose is to heal people. Your life purpose is to create and to build. Your life purpose is to judge and to make decisions. So it's a great day to really focus on yourself and keep things simple and look inward. I don't think other people necessarily add very much to your inner seeking here because other people's opinions are no one knows you like you know you. No one's going to get to this king except you because he lives in your solar plexus. You right now watching <laughs> you. Okay. So number wise, we've got 10 and 19. That's 29. And then we've got 12, which is the hanged man. 41, isn't it? 41? 12 and 19 is 29, 31, 41. 4 and 1 is 5, and 5 is about freedom. And in this case, it's about freedom when it comes to your life purpose. And often people associate the life purpose with their vocational aptitudes. So sometimes your life purpose is one thing and your vocational aptitudes are another. But in most cases, the vocational aptitudes that you're given by the universe, the talents, because I believe everyone has been given a gift, a talent, that they can use on planet Earth to thrive and to really live. So when you use that, that's when you really maximize your potential and you're really able to make your dreams come true because you have a sense of freedom. And that only comes from, wow, I've really achieved the things that I dreamt of, that I've done. Um, and hooray, I feel free. I feel free to now take on the next adventure. I can now take my passion and take them elsewhere. So it's a day of discovery within yourself, okay? Think of yourself as Neptune riding the waves of your inner landscape. Think of yourself as being an ocean and Neptune is riding around on this seahorse and he's got his trident there and he's pointing it at the um, the Sun King and he's saying, hey, Sun King, let's make something out of this person's life because he or she's got a giant salamander hanging over it. And if they don't get out of the way, grabbing a wand soon, if they don't get a wand, they're just going to stay there and have no idea what they're doing. But if they do grab a wand, then they have a specific purpose, a passion that they can run with, and they get out in time before the salamander falls down. So you've got friends today. Your people are on your side. 
Work with the Sun King. Work with Neptune. They're energies that people believe in. So they have an energy. Everything is created by us. Remember, we manifest everything. So if enough people believe in Neptune, then there is a Neptune. Have a lovely day. If you would like a personal reading with me, I mentioned that at the beginning of the reading. Um, go to gregoryscott.com and order the reading with me. It's a good time to have a reading, like I said, because it's we're in October. It's kind of, you know, we're finishing up 2019. We're looking at what's coming up in 2020. And it's a, it's a great time to start getting prepared kind of for the new year and wrapping things up this year. So, yeah. If you uh, like this video, then please hit the subscribe button. And I'll speak to you tomorrow.